Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, perform binary logistic in SPSS. So, I uh, will show you how to run uh, binary logistic as well as uh, implementation, and we will show you uh, how to compute uh, all odd ratio in order to uh, deepen the interpretation of uh, different uh, result of. Uh, of the analysis and it's the first time you are watching uh, my video let us uh, subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the red button at the right of your screen and don't hesitate to uh, like uh, the video it does a good thing for me so uh, concerning uh, binary logistic uh, Binary logistic is a method used in statistics in order to predict a phenomena that has just uh, two uh, alternatives. So, for example, in this video, we will take the example of uh, assisted delivery in hospital and see uh, what are the factors that uh, can explain uh, whether or not uh, women uh, decide to to deliver in a health facility uh, center or at home. So uh, to run binary logistics, you just need to go in statistics, statistics, go on a binary outcome, and then choose a logistic regression reporting coefficients. So uh, when you click on it, you have the possibility to choose for the uh, dependent variable. My dependent variable is assisted delivery. So uh, variable assisted delivery take the value uh, zero if uh, the women women of the sample deliver in the take zero if the women not deliver in the health facility and one if uh, if the women uh, deliver in a health facility. So uh, independent variable are uh, variable that are uh, that can uh, influence the choice to uh, deliver in health facility. Here is uh, my variable uh, type of place of residence. So I select my variable type of uh, place of residence. Uh, but I will put uh, I on uh, I dot in order to tell Stata that uh, my variable type of place of residence will be uh, treated as uh, qualitative variable. So I have the uh, wealth index, which is a quantitative variable. I select my variable. Uh, Here is my variable uh, wealth index. So I also have uh, women age here. I have a uh, variable education of the women, which is uh, qualitative. So I will put I dot uh, behind uh, the variable. I have a partner education. So which uh, so I can now uh, click on OK. And you can see that uh, my uh, logistic regression has been estimated. And you can see that uh, the women age is not uh, statistically significant, didn't influence significantly on the uh, decision on whether or not to have an assisted delivery. So we have a uh, verbal uh, type of place of residence, rural, have a negative impact on the uh, decision to uh, deliver in health facilities. So when uh, women uh, who live in a rural area uh, are likely to uh, not to deliver in city than those who are in uh, 
urban areas. They also have a wealth index, so uh, we will have a positive cost of equation is positive. So the age is not uh, significant because p value is more than 5%. We have education, primary. The reference here is not the education. So primary, uh, secondary, and high education have uh, uh, significant on the decision of whether or not uh, to uh, deliver in our facility. So uh, we have, uh, for example, uh, education of the partner. So I have uh, treated the education of the partner as uh, quantitative. So I will go in statistics, binary outcome, uh, logistic regression and change uh, partner education in order to uh, make it the uh, qualitative variable. So I put I dot and re-estimate my model. So we can see that uh, the uh, variable uh, uh, education of partner uh, is treated now that like qualitative variable so we have our modality that are not so that's uh, what we can do for the binary logistic outcome I will uh, uh, treat for now or the uh, I will uh, remove for now the partner education in my model so to make it uh, simple so uh, here are our different uh, our variable so we have uh, uh, our model which is here so uh, age is uh, now significant uh, so when uh, the age increase the uh, probability to have um, assisted delivery increase too. So how to compute our uh, old ratio in order to deepen the analysis? So to compute the old ratio of this uh, logistic regression, just go on statistic, binary outcome, and choose the second option, logistic regression reporting old ratio. So I click on OK. So I will select my uh, dependent variable, the same dependent variable, uh, assisted delivery. My first uh, variable is a uh, type of place of resident, which is here. Uh, please uh, previews as uh, I dot uh, because our type of place of resident is treated as qualitative. So we have a uh, Wealth index, we have age of women, we have uh, education, which should be treated as uh, qualitative. I dot and then click on OK. And you can see that uh, our old ratio have been uh, computed. We have a negative old ratio for significant ratio for rural area the reference uh, variable uh, modality here is urban so uh, in rural area uh, uh, women are 0 0.7 times more likely to uh, have uh, assisted delivery uh, than those in urban area and the confidence interval is uh, 0 0.66 to 0.77. So we have also the world index, which have uh, old ratio that is almost more equal to one, meaning that uh, when uh, the world index increased by one percent, the probability to uh, have an assisted uh, delivery increase uh, by one percent. So uh, that's the same thing for age. So we have education. Uh, primary education is uh, women that have uh, that are in primary education sector are two times likely uh, to have
have fewer uh, than those in, uh, that have no education. So uh, because the uh, reference modality here is, uh, is uh, no education. So I can tabulate out my variable education so that you can see that uh, there are four modalities uh, for variable education. We have uh, no education, primary, second, and high education. And in this model, uh, uh, no education has been chosen as reference modality. So those in secondary education are three times likely to uh, deliver, uh, deliver in alpha than those in, uh, that have no education. So the higher education didn't significantly influence on the decision whether or not deliver in our facility so that we cannot use that work ratio. So that's it for this video and we hope uh, very hard to understand how to run and interpret uh, logistic regression by coefficient and uh, work ratio.